Hello friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're looking at Subgrid. Now Subgrid isn't available across all the browsers yet. In fact, it's only in Firefox and Nightly at the time recording, but if you're watching this from the future, hopefully it's everywhere. Uh, it's something I've struggled to get to grips with. Uh, I think I've finally realized quite how to use it. Certainly I've got one scenario here where it's pretty good. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look. Uh, I've got CodePen open in Firefox Nightly, which as I said, is the only place we can use it at the moment. I'm gonna create a little uh, display of cards, and each card will have a title, content, and a footer, and we just wanna line up those three elements across the cards as they go across the screen. So let me, let me put this bit together first of all, just to start with. So we'll have a container, and then we'll have our cards in there. And I'll have um, six cards. And then each one, as I said, will have a title, like so. And then a content, like so. And then also a footer as well. like that and we're gonna have no that's fine I think so yep okay that should be good let's just scroll out down and see what we've got we've got lots of cards inside the container and we can see them over there now to put these cards across the screen we can turn the container into a grid so we can do that with display grid and if we give it some columns so let's have grid template, columns, and we'll have three columns, like so. So that should move that across there. And let's make sure we're filling the height, and I'll just reset CSS while we're here. Okay, so that gives us a kind of layout there. And then the, in each of our cards, we want title, content, footer. So we'll do another grid there, just a normal grid to start with. So dot card, and again, we would say display grid. And by default, that's pulling them down um, as we would like. Pretty hard to see it there. So let me give it a background color. like so, and we'll just put a grid gap on. And we should see each individual card now. So we've got one, two, three across the top here, and then three across the bottom as well. And you can see at the moment, the titles are lining up, the content and the footer. So what's the problem here? Well, the problem is when we have different amounts of um, content within each one of these cards. So let's say, this second card, the content was quite a bit more. Let's see what happens. All right, we can see already our footer here in the first card no longer lines up with the footer here. Now there are rays around this, you know, there's various ways, but they all have um, various drawbacks. Subgrid allows us to solve this. And, and the reason I struggled with subgrid before is I didn't realize when you're using subgrid, it's got to span the rows of the parent because what its subgrid allows you to do is align your rows with the rows of a parent. So unless you're spanning, there's nothing there for you to align to. So you've got that picture that, yeah, your subgrid is spanning columns or rows of the parent grid. So in this case, if we span our card across three rows, um, let me explicitly put this in here. So let's have grid template rows and we'll say repeat um, 6, 1, F, R. So that on our parent gives us those, um, those 6 and we want to span 3. So if we do grid row span 3, I should fill the screen again now. So it's not, we still got the problem with our foot here, obviously, but because we're now spanning these three rows, and these three rows on the parent all still line up, uh, and we can now line up with those, 
by doing grid template rows and we can say subgrid and once we put that in you can see our footers now align up again so that is what subgrid can do for us pretty easy um, and there's going to be lots of little cases like this where it will solve alignment issues um, and layer issues in a similar way as grid has given us um, you know certainly it's not going to have the same impact as grid but there'll be cases where you'll want to do this and this will make it very easy um, so there you go that's it uh, if you like that video give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you didn't um, subscribe if you want to see some more and I'll see you next time bye